Here with News 5 tonight. Former Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew has launched a new book titled One Man's View of the World. And like the title suggests, it conveys Mr Lee's views on foreign affairs, international policies and the future of major powers and regions of the world. One could say it's a book that's more than 50 years in the making, with 11 chapters of insights and numerous pictures of his travels around the world. The 400-page volume draws on former Minister Mentor Lee Kuan Yew's five decades of experience as a statesman representing Singapore on the international stage. Unlike Mr Lee's previous books which focus on Singapore, this latest book turns its attention to mostly beyond the country. Each of the first seven chapters focus on countries or regions like the United States, China and the Middle East. The book was launched at the Astana on Tuesday. Prime Minister Lee Hsien Lung and Environment and Water Resources Minister Vivian Balakrishnan were also present. The book was unveiled in front of 125 other guests, including foreign diplomats, academics and business leaders. The book's publisher, Singapore Press Holdings, says the book seeks to come to an objective and dispassionate analysis of what the world is like. At age 90 and freed from the limitations imposed by cabinet office, Mr. Lee has been remarkably candid in his analysis. He doesn't hesitate to explain why one man, one vote is unimaginable in China. He argues that the Arab Spring will not bring democracy to the Middle East, and so on. But I shall not spoil the book for you. And while Mr Lee says the book is a largely unvarnished account, he does say some of the rugged edges have been shimmed off. I'm an active politician and I do not want to rub up too many feathers. <laughs> but on the whole, there is a basis of fact in what I've said. But beyond foreign affairs, the book also provides insight into Mr. Lee's personal life. In one chapter, he reflects candidly on life, death and the afterlife. Mr. Lee turns 90 in September.